It's an iconic picture known around the world. And as the old saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, the girl, now woman, in that picture has more than a thousand words to share when it comes to that fateful day that this photo was taken and the tumultuous life she has lived since. Kim Fook, it is an honor to meet you today. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. June 7th, 1972 is the day everything changed. We alluded to that picture. Take us back to that day and what happened. I remember in June 8, 1972, as a child, as a children, we just allowed to play around the bomb shelter. Mm. Uh, all of us hiding in the temple. They call Cow Dai mm -hmm. Temple. And uh, my mom, my family thought that is a holy place, mm -hmm. safe place. Mm -hmm. So we were okay in that. Mm -hmm. But in the wartime, it no place safe, mm -hmm. right? And then we hiding in the temple for three days. Mm -hmm. And I remember on the third day, we had lunch. Mm -hmm. When we finished lunch, and then the so uh, we were uh, stay with the Vietnamese soldiers. Mm -hmm. They protected us mm -hmm. there. And so when they saw the color mark drop inside of the temple area, mm. that mean they would drop the bomb. Mm. That mean the temple was going to, to drop the bomb mm. right there. And so the soldiers yelled for us, the ch to children, um, because the children always run faster, right? Yes. <laughs> and so they say, we have to run get out of that, this place because they want to destroy all of us. Mm. So they uh, let the children ran, uh, run first and then the adults run behind us. Mm. And I, I was the one in between the children and the adults. And I just turned nine years old, right? Mm. And when I just remember, I got in the front of the temple and then I somehow I just saw the airplane two words mm. to me so fast mm. and so loud and so close and I just stood right there I didn't run and I turned my head and I saw the four bombs landing down landing down I, I never forget that and then I heard boop, 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 boop. Then suddenly the fire everywhere around me. And of course, the fire just burned off my clothes. And I saw the fire over my left arm. And I used my right hands. I just did like that. I wept it. And that's why I got burned mm -hmm. here too. And so at that moment, I thought, oh my goodness, I got burned. So I became ugly. Mm -hmm. And so people can see me different way. But at the same time, at that moment, I was terrified. I knew I got burned. And then I thank God that moment, my feet mm -hmm. did not, did not, didn't not burn. Yeah. So I was able to run out of that fire. And then I saw my brothers I saw my cousins and some soldiers, South Vietnamese soldiers, mm -hmm. they kept running with us. Mm -hmm. And I ran for a while, then uh, crying, and, and my brother the same thing, crying. And then for a moment when I was so tired to run anymore, I stopped mm -hmm. on the road, and I saw so many people in the front of me, mm -hmm. and I cried out, too hot, too hot. Then there was one of the soldiers, uh, he gave me some water to drink mm -hmm. and he tried to help me. Yes. He poured the water over me. But that was the wrong thing to do. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. But that moment, I... Caught on fire again. Uh, yes, I lost my consciousness. Mm -hmm. I passed out mm -hmm. and I didn't remember anything. It and looked this myth, bad, but it's good for me. For me, I think I pass out. I didn't feel any pain. Mm. And that is help. 
In the midst of all of this chaos, your parents lose track of you. They don't know where you are. You've been taken to a hospital and you actually were put into the morgue. They thought you were dead. Your mother finds you and your skin is rotting because you've been in this morgue for days. No, three days. Three days. And they find you, they pull you out, you're still alive. And the, and the doctors are able to help you and to couch you back and to, to be able to, to rescue you essentially. Um, after how many months were you in the hospital before you I were able to go home? I stay in the hospital for 14 months. Wow. And I went through 16 operation in that time. And my last operation in Germany in 1984, I had total 17 operations. 17. Wow. You return home and you don't have any friends. People have almost just signed you off thinking, you know, Kim is covered in scars and covered in wounds. And you go through a bout of depression. You're depressed, you almost take your life. Yeah. Tell me about that time. In the hospital time, I, I felt like I, I was normal because everyone have something mm -hmm. and end up in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And I think it's normal life. Then when I went home, my life was beginning. Mm -hmm. Because just me. Mm -hmm. I got burned and I got horrible scar. Not only scars, but I endure a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. And um, I couldn't concentrate and I couldn't, you know, to bear the heat where I came from. Yeah. Hot and hotter. Yes. And with that scars and uh, it's a horrible time for me. And then I expected all my friends can come mm -hmm. to play with me like before, but as soon as my best friend, mm -hmm. Han. Mm -hmm. She came and I just, I forgot all my scar. I just opened my, mm -hmm. my, my arms, my arms yeah. and received her. But she stood from far away. She just looked at me. Mm -hmm. She didn't move and she looked at me. And that, that act is tell me I'm different. Mm -hmm. I'm not like her anymore. It's really hard for me to deal with uh, in love. Well, we're going to return with Kim Phuc as the world watched the Vietnam War from afar. Kim unknowingly became the poster child of communism. Her life was altered forever. Every move was dictated, but no one, not even Kim, saw what would happen next and how her life would be transformed forever. Stay with us.